Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zena and today I am back with another cast. Surprise, surprise. Who is still surprised after all these days that I am uploading another cast? Nothing substantial. No, no, just another cast. <laughs> this is actually part two of the video I did yesterday. So if you haven't checked that one out, I would say I mean, go ahead and do it. You don't really have to. I... This is good self-promotion. Yeah, go check out my video, but you don't really have to do it. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yesterday's video was actually meant to be one video, but I split it up in two parts because the voiceover was killing me. If you really want the more, you know, more context, I definitely suggest you watch and listen to what I have to say in the last video. But basically what it comes down to is that I really wanted to create something that I usually don't do. I like creating and I noticed that sometimes you have certain habits and you make certain sims look a certain way because that's just how you like to make your sims look. It has nothing to do with preference in real life. I'm very, I guess, selective with Cass. I guess I caught myself always making the same kind of sims. They're always kind of perfect. Part two of that video was supposed to be me making a sim that is so-called the perfect person, right? How you are supposed to look. Just to show the contrast in what people actually look like and what people want us to look like. As I said in yesterday's video, this is probably way too deep. It's just a sims game. But I honestly do feel like when you are on YouTube and you do sims, you have somewhat of a following influenced by whatever they see. Even I get influenced by by things that I wouldn't think I would be influenced by. Just because you see it so often, you just think it's normal and then you start wanting to do something and you realize, holy shit, the one thing I always watch is that one thing that makes me want to do this or be like this. So well, don't get me wrong, I would have made a sim like that if I had a need for it, if I had a sim in mind or if my inspiration drove me there the whole purpose was to compare the two and now that they're in two separate videos i kind of feel like the point is a bit lost but i still want to upload her because i know some of you might want to download her i actually think both of them turn out really pretty it's just like i tend to make sims that look like this more than the previous sim hey look i think she turned out really cute just like the last sim that i did i think both are equally as cute like i also said i think the point has been lost a little because i had to split the video in two parts but if you're doing a video and the voiceover is the one thing that is not working you tend to just scrap half of it and just go with what did work and unfortunately not much did actually work so <laughs> Yeah, here we are now. So uh, lastly, I just want to say that I am um, very happy that we have such understanding and such a loving community between us. We are definitely very supportive of each other. We're always helping each other out. So I'm really happy that we are in this very like comfortable environment, just very positive and happy. So I want to thank you guys for that as well, because it's not like I am the only one that's trying to do that. Like we're all in this, in this together. And sometimes the things I try to convey may seem a bit odd or out of place, but I sometimes, you know, get inspired or I feel a bit affected by things around me, like the thing with the whole beauty standards and influences um, and how much of a role everyone plays in someone's, someone's self-esteem and someone's life. I'm not super famous, obviously, and I'll probably never really be worth remembering much, but... I like to say that as long as I do these videos and someone might click on this and actually listen to it, I have somewhat of a following and I have somewhat of a voice and to sit here and to always talk about random things, it's it's nice, don't get me wrong, it's very lighthearted. Probably will never help anyone, but at least it makes me sleep better at night knowing that at least one time I spoke about something that I was actually passionate about. And even if it's something as stupid as a cat, a little short video where I show you guys what I did, you guys an option to download it so you don't have to do the effort yourself. And hearing me say that it's okay to look ugly or whatever, you know, whatever society says isn't real and that you don't need to look a certain way to, to get happiness or to be successful in life. I haven't really seen anyone that I thought was really ugly and I have seen people that kind of look like my last sim and I wouldn't call them ugly either in person. My friends or the people that I know, they don't look like this Instagram girl, this sporty girl, this plastic girl, this fake sim, right? We're talking about the sim, don't get me wrong, this fake sim 
and they don't look like that and i still think they're all equally beautiful it's just like why would i then be so compelled to make her look like this in a game if i wouldn't care in real life i'm going to end this video here if you guys enjoyed it i'm so sorry these two last, last two videos have been so random i think i need to sleep and pick another topic for tomorrow's video but i just want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for 4500 subscribers i just want to say thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye